Hey guys, Coach Todd here. I got my high-tech little microphone on here so you guys can hear me. I'm doing a screencast, so you're looking at my computer right now. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to use MyFitnessPal to enter custom recipes. So let's say you come home, your husband or your wife or some other family member, you go to grandma's house, they've made something completely from scratch. And you have no idea what the macros are and how that's going to fit into your plan. So this is what I do when my wife makes something from scratch or just adds a bunch of ingredients and makes a meal out of it. This is what I do to figure out the macros. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to log into your MyFitnessPal account, of course. Um, you can do this on your, on your iPhone or your Android as well. You can do this from your mobile app, which is pretty cool. But you wanna, you're going to want to click the Food tab and go to Recipes. Whoops. Food. Recipes. There we go. And you can see I've already got a bunch of stored recipes in here. Uh, and we'll go into those to show you what to do. But I want to show you just how to start a new recipe. So let's say I'm making like turkey chili from the, the uh, P90X fitness guide. So, or nutrition guide. So I would say P90X uh, turkey chili. And then I would come down here and click add ingredient. So the first ingredient I would add to it, let's say, you know, Foster Farms Ground Turkey. I'm going to search for that. Oh, I spelled turkey wrong. P U R K E Y. Search. Alright, there we go. And I'll, I'll put in the 99% lean stuff. And we're going to put in a pound of it. So 4 ounces times 4, 16, that's 1 pound. Alright, so we got our turkey in there. Um, we're going to add our next ingredient. Let's call it, you know, tomato sauce. Search. Okay. Let's see. Classico. I've heard of that stuff. So I'm going to add, you know, one container of Classico tomato and basil pasta sauce. We're gonna add that. So you have to have two or more ingredients in a recipe. So you see, I got that. Next thing you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to set how many servings this entire meal creates. So um, I usually like to break things up into you know a cup, like one cup. So you know, in a pot of chili, maybe I'll have like 15, you know, 15 to 18 cups, or maybe 12 cups of of um, chili. So I'll say 12. It serves 12 people, so there's 12 servings. And then I'll say, save recipe. And what's really cool is, let's say I go to my food diary, right? And let's say I'll go to tomorrow. And for lunch, I want my chili. I can go to add food and then come over to recipes and check this out. I can click P90X turkey chili. And I'll say number of servings, one. So one cup, remember I did 12 cups. And then you just click add checked. So it's pretty cool. Um, if I go back to my recipes, you can see here, I'll go to, let's see, my peanut butter banana shakeology. So you can see I entered here a scoop of chocolate shakeology, a scoop of, you know, Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Whey, uh, a banana, natural peanut butter, and almond milk. That's, that, I drink that every single day. So I made a recipe out of it. Now I just have to add this one item instead of adding five items every single day. So it speeds up the process a little bit. Uh, if I go back, you can see like my homemade protein bars. You know, I enter four tablespoons of peanut butter. Um, I used pea protein on this one. Um, so I used eight scoops of chocolate pea protein, protein, three tablespoons of honey, one cup of Quaker oats, and one cup of almond milk. And I made six bars out of it. So you can see how that works. It serves six people. That means I made six bars with these um, protein bars. So it's, that's it, guys. It's, it's that simple to just create a recipe. If somebody, you know, if you're eating something that's made from scratch, just ask the person to say, okay, can you tell me exactly what you put in here and how much? And then you can sort of guesstimate 
uh, how many servings the entire dish is. Um, and then you can serve yourself based on that and you'll have a better chance of hitting your macros rather than just, you know, tossing a dart at the wall blindfold. So hopefully this helped guys. And if you have any questions about my fitness pal, how to hit your macros or nutrition at all, just post in the comments below or you can email me at coachtotteripclub.net. And don't forget, if you go there, you can also make me your free coach by clicking the join Ripped Club free button and I will be happy to work with you one-on-one -on -one to get you the best results possible. So no craziness today in this video guys, sorry, just a lot of good information so give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. If not, give it a thumbs down. Let me know, let me know if the stuff I'm providing is valuable. So God bless guys. I'll see you on the next video.